Hi, I and uh, welcome I back and to I Let's Play Dark Souls Remastered. Uh, this is going to be Let's Play Dark Souls Remastered, episode 23. Now, uh, if you are just now returning, uh, and you have been watching this all the way through, then you know that we just beat the, three king, uh, the four kings uh, last time. I seek to right the wrongs of the park, but the other serpent, Frapped, lost his sense. Undead warrior, only I know the truth. You must destroy the fading Lord Wind. We're just going to go ahead and uh, buzz right through this. We're going to answer yes, because we want to do... Uh, we want to do a certain ending for this game. So we, we kind of side with this guy as opposed to the other guy. This is Wind's prison. Now, place the Lord Vessel upon the altar. So now, essentially what we're going to do, uh, we're here to place that Lord Vessel down. Once we place that Lord Vessel down, it's going to unlock, uh, like, three different areas uh, that have been locked previously and that we need to go to get the uh, the big souls, the souls that will fill that vessel up. There we go. The Lord Vessel is now placed. And here we go. We are, uh... Very what seat fill then? The... Are you then? We're gonna get eaten again. It's gonna bring us back up to that bonfire. From there, we're gonna move on. Uh, today, we're gonna be tackling a, uh, optional area. So Dardo of Chaos is going to bring us closer to that uh, optional area. Uh, this optional area um, is going to be down in Blight Town. And uh, when we get to Blight Town, uh, you'll know, or you'll see anyway. Now, I think I accidentally edited the footage out, but I did donate... Um, I think it was either 20 or 30 humanity to that uh, to that spider. <clears throat> I didn't get the desired ref effect though, and so I left her alive. But uh, basically, after I give her the the humanity and I get what I need out of her, which will be in a different episode, um, then I will kill her for our. I think it's going to be our one of our last firekeeper souls. We definitely don't need the Covenant of Artorias ring on anymore. Putting the Rusted ring on uh, that we got down um, at the first uh, Sea Serpent boss. And uh, so so that'll enable us to walk a little bit faster through uh, Blight Town. 
Light Town's uh, bottom, anyway, the, the part where uh, the swamp is. Because we don't want to be getting tripped up in the swamp. New, new, new. Is going to be uh, something that we're gonna do that not everyone does but we're gonna do it this guy doesn't really sell anything super good uh, he basically sells stuff we've already got so um, I think that's actually the only unique thing he sells is that ring uh, either way we're gonna kill him and the ninja If you remember, he, him and the ninja both are from uh, the woods area, Dark Root Garden. Now we have the Dark Wood Green Ring. Uh, so basically what that's going to allow us to do is, uh, we have this pesky mosquito. That Darkwood uh, Green Ring is going to allow us to do uh, some very good rolling uh, if we need to. And we'll be using that soon. That is a unique ring though, and uh, probably good to get that on your first playthrough. That way if you go into New Game Plus, uh, you will have that ring, and uh, you won't need to kill either of them again if you don't want to. Mosquitoes are pesky. Okay, so what we're doing right now, we're just uh, picking up the lost items that we didn't grab before. So there's our pyromancy and some tattered clothes. Basically our pyromancy outfit. There is a large soul item. These guys drop uh, large shards uh, if you get lucky. And off in the distance is the tree that we're going inside. And I think I see Siegfried. That's what his name is. Hmm. 
See a couple of uh, items in the distance there. Let's kill all these little guys here. Maybe we'll get a large shard. Maybe we won't. Either way. We got a large shard there. See how much that Estus heals me right there. That that is the exact reason why we reinforce our flask with those Firekeeper Souls. Uh, it's just uh, to get that healing so it's maxed right out. And up we go. First hidden wall, look at the chest, and right behind that chest is another hidden wall. Twin humanities. And there we go. And this is the entrance to the secret area. Now don't forget to get the bonfire here, just in case. There is a bonfire right in the beginning. Don't forget to get it. Because if you fall and die here, then it's a long walk back. See, I forgot to do it, and I paid the price, so don't don't make my mistake. Uh, right inside that entrance, there is a bonfire, and you should get that. There is a ton of crystal lizards, very, very difficult to get. Very difficult. There's also these guys again. large soul item. Trying to figure out how to get down. Another crystal lizard down there. Uh, probably going to be a very slim chance that we even come close to getting that. Just trying to make sure that we fall in the right spots here. There's a blue titanite chunk. Red Titanite Chunk.
And that's where I made a mistake. Right there. So anyway, uh, <laughs> cutting through all the crap, I ended up getting the bonfire. So if I die again, uh, it won't be as long of a walk because I had to walk all the way from uh, the Chaos Mother, the Spider Boss. And that wasn't fun, so just make sure you get that bonfire uh, immediately upon coming through. Because if you fall here, and there's a good chance you will, especially on your first try, uh, it's going to be a long walk back. So. Just keep that in mind. There's another Titanite chunk. It's good. We're going to need all those we can get. Those things hit like a truck, so just uh, be aware. Don't let them actually get a hold of you. I'm not sure if they drop the gold pine resin like their uh, counterparts do in Dark Root Garden. I don't think they do because I haven't actually encountered any. So if you do need to farm uh, gold pine resin, um, I would suggest doing it. This guy's not doing anything. I would suggest doing it in Dark Root Garden. Pretty easy gold pine resin farm. And it definitely works with the halberd we're using, so. Do uh, get it if you need it. Gold part and resin is probably the most OP weapon uh, augment you can get. Now we're off to probably what this is probably one of the coolest places, Ash Lake. This is probably one of the coolest places uh, in Dark Souls Remastered as far as uh, like aesthetics go. I really think this place is uh, super, super neat, the way they designed it. But we do have a few things to do in here. Number one, we got to get that bonfire. Number two, we're going to fight that sea, sea hydra and uh, kill it.
and uh, with the serpent down, finally, we can move on. Get our dragon scale from that. Not really going to be doing a whole lot with dragon weapons, like I said uh, before, but, uh, you know, it doesn't hurt. It, it really doesn't hurt to collect them. You never know. On your next playthrough, you might want them. Those things hit really hard, so... Uh, just be aware. Little clam enemies. Try to bait him into attacking here. Very cool area. Uh, and this area uh, is also going to be a uh, new covenant so we can join as well. Going in backwards here. See our halberd just wrecking everything. Uh, taking a look around, making sure we didn't miss anything. Which I'm pretty sure I missed something. I just can't put my finger on it. So we're going to go the way that uh, we were intended to go, just to make sure. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just uh, leave it alone for now. Come back later. It's another one of those crabs in the hole. Pretty easy. Pretty easy enemies. And we are pretty much at the bonfire, which has already been kindled, which is uh, kind of strange, but it's all right. Now, not everyone knows about this, so we're going to enter the Covenant first. Not everyone knows about this next part that I'm about to show you.
You can do that, and it doesn't give you... It doesn't hurt the Covenant or anything like that. It, it doesn't affect anything negatively if you do that, so don't be afraid of doing that. Anyway, um, we're going to warp on out of here. But uh, if you found this uh, channel without being a subscriber, please consider subscribing. It certainly helps out my channel. Uh, please uh, rate, comment, uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, all that helps out massively. And uh, also, uh, links down in the description, uh, I included a tutorial on how to uh, link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch. Uh, and uh, also, check me out on Twitch. I stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uh, every single week. And if I don't, I usually post a rerun, but uh, more than likely I'm going to be on there uh, jamming on some video games, talking with chat, engaging, uh, playing some music, just having fun. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, uh, and I'll catch you next time uh, in episode 24.